Today I'll tell you how I do my double-sided CNC milling. Um, the overall process has three steps. The first one is I make four dowel holes on the spoiler board. And the second step I make four dowel holes on the top side and I process the whole top side. And the third one is that I flip my board around the Y axis and I place the four dowels uh, into place and I process the back side. The physical process uh, has three steps as well. I start by centering my machine in the middle of the stock uh, or the spoil board rather and the Z0 is at the top of the spoil board. And then I start by making four dowel holes on the spoil board. The second step is that I place my stock on top of the spoil board and I place my Z0 on top of the stock. The X and Y positions remain the same. Then I make four dowel holes on the top side and I process the whole top side. The third step is that I flip the board around the Y axis and I place the four dowels to secure my lineup with the top side. I place the C0 on top of the spoil board or the bottom stock if you will and again the Y and X positions remain the same. And then I process my back side. So I've got three parts in my guitar that I want to process. That's the fretboard, the neck and the body. And so I at least have to make three processes uh, for the cam as well. Um, let me start with the body because that's the most simple to do. Let me switch off these. And now I'm left with the guitar body. So we've got our guitar body and we need to draw our stock material around it so let me draw a rectangle around my guitar body and i'll start off in the center go to the top left corner and let's say this height is 175 and this is 200. so now this is our top left corner let's draw a rectangle that is completely around our body that's 175 in height times 2. And this is 480. Let's say OK. Let's delete the lines we don't need. And now start drawing the circles for our dowel holes. This one. And our second one will be over here. And our other one will be over there and the fourth one will be over here so now we can extract our body or extrude our body and let's see that 48 millimeters it's not a cut operation but a new body and there you go and now our full guitar body is inside our stock material let's call this stock as well Right, so that's a good starting point for now. Let's switch off this stock. So here's my guitar body again. Let's go to manufacturer and I'll now set up a new process. Um, it automatically selected the body, but I want to have the size of my stock from a solid. And that solid is our stock. This is my stock. So it now has the dimensions of my stock. So there you go, and it makes it possible to drill the holes for the dowels. So now let's add a drill process, select my bit, there you go, 6 millimeters. I'll select the faces that I want to drill, so I need to look at the stock and select the four holes, there you go. But I don't want them to go through and through, but I want them 12 millimeters. So I'll select top of the stock. I'll select 12 millimeters down and I'll press OK. And now we have four drill processes before we start doing the rest. So now let's fast forward in time. As you can see, we still have the body over here. 
um, but I also have the other processes and operations in the setup already and I've already made a body back um, setup as well. Um, to make it a bit more clear what our reference point is and where this guitar body is placed in our stock material, I go back to the model and I'll make it a bit more clear. So let me switch on the stock. If you press right button, you can set opacity as well. But now if you select something that you'd like to choose on the guitar body, it also selects on the stock material. So you can make it an unselectable um, body. So that way you cannot select it anymore. And you can only select stuff from the guitar body. Let's head back to manufacture. And this is our drill operation. Let me show you the face operation. I'll show you my edit. And these are the settings for the face operation. The face operation um, has a chain selection over here. And the height is as normal. Uh, there's a stock to leave at 0.1 millimeters. That's all standard. And the, re the really one thing that is interesting is that it has a stock offset of 50 millimeters. So on all sides, it will take off an extra 50 millimeters to make more room for the last operation for the front, and that's the parallel um, operation. So let's go to the contour. And the contour, as you can see, has two blue lines over here. And it takes off quite a bit material. Um, and these are my settings. There are two chains selected. Um, the one on the side and here on the neck joint. Um, it also has some tabs. So these tabs over here are for holding the guitar body in the stock in place. So when I flip the board, it is still on the same side. Otherwise it would drop to the bottom. Yeah, and that would really ruin my process at all. Um, we have a selection for the bottom height, which is this line over here. Minus one millimeters to make sure everything is over the half of the thickness of the guitar body. And really the rest is standard, except for roughing passes. There are two roughing passes, as you can see. Those were the two blue lines in the beginning. And the rest is really... Um, uh, standard so we have two operations going on over here quite a bit of material that we lose so then we have this pocket operation and uh, I'll show you the settings that's really all standard there are three chains chosen um, the heights are all standard uh, it has multiple depths um, of five millimeters down um, and that is basically it and the special operation for the pocket for the tremolos over here and that's quite special because there's no height setting that normally because it's an opening instead of a, a, a real pocket so I've chosen this line over here and if I zoom in you can see this red arrow it's the inside of that line it will be routed and the selection for the bottom is actually at the bottom of the tremolo hole, which is this line over here, which is at the bottom of the tremolo. Um, so that is the bottom edge. Um, again, multiple depths of five millimeters, and that is basically it. Then the last operation, um, that is a parallel operation um, that goes from front to back, and I'll show you these settings. Standard again, six millimeters. Um, this chain has been chosen. Uh, the tool outside the boundary, and I'm touching the sides and the top surface. Um, and well, really, this is all standard. Again, the bottom is selected from this line minus ten millimeters, and. The step over is set to one millimeter. You can do this smaller if you like, but it will increase the amount of time for this operation. So I'll show you the simulation of these operations. I'll switch off the model. Um, I'll go to simulate, and this is the stock material. Um, the first operation 
Uh, are these four holes for the for flipping the board? Um, then we've got a face operation which takes up a bit of material. We've got the contour operation, um, as you can see, so it's all around the guitar. And already you can see here the tabs for when I flip the board, it holds the guitar in place. Um, then we've got the pocket operations and the pocket hole for the tremolo and at last we have the um, parallel operation which gives a nice curvature to the guitar body. Since I'm going to flip the board uh, for processing the back side it's uh, good to keep in mind the origins. Um, here are the X and Y and Z positions and the zero for the z-axis is uh, placed at the top of the stock material as you can see this is pointing up now if i choose the back side you can see that the position of these origin is still at the middle of the top side of the material and that way i'm sure that all measurements are measured from the same point on in during the process so let me show you the back operations there you go. I start off with this phase operation. Um, basically, those are the same settings as for the front. Um, still the 15 millimeters uh, overshoot to take off as much as material as I can. And then we have this contour operation, which is also um, uh, has two processes, the inner ring and the outer ring. Um, it doesn't have any taps on this side because I already have taps on the other side. Um, I'm doing a pocket operation which uh, for the tremolo, which stops at this point at the height of the spring section for um, the tremolo. Then we've got this pocket that we need to do as well. And this is the electronic pockets which goes all the way down for the electronic part to get it nice and round. And then we have two drill operations, one for the screws on this side for the neck joint and one that's doing the contours. And the last operation is the parallel operation for giving the body his nice curves. Um, again, step over of one millimeters. So now we've got the whole backside done. I'll show you the simulation of the whole guitar. So I do that by selecting everything, select uh, simulation, I'll switch off the model, I'll go to the front side, and there you go, there's your material. I'll start by processing the first four holes, then we've got this phase operation, um, then we got the contours of the front, and all these contours uh, are including the tabs already. So there are your four tabs. One, two, three, four, and then we go to our pocket operation. Again, another pocket operation. And finally, we get to the parallel process um, for the front part. Now, if we flip the stock, there we go. And then we again have a face operation. We get the contours and Already, when these contours are done, you can see the tabs holding the guitar body in stock. These are nice and wide and sturdy um, tabs. And then we get the next operation, which will be a pocket operation for the tremolo. Another, another uh, pocket operation. You have the electronics operation. You can see the nice round holes as well. Then we have these contours for the... Uh, screws for the neck joints and last process is the parallel operation which gives a nice curve to the body and there you have it your whole guitar body being simulated in fusion um, ready for milling if you have any question or suggestions for me uh, just let me know in the comments